Hi everybody, it's another Mythic Monday. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Mythic Legion's Hellfire Goblin. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, taking a look at this evil little buddy. Uh, I love this guy. Uh, in the package, you can see his uh, faction symbol uh, right there. And if you want to uh, sort of like, there's his little bio. If you want to pause it and, uh, and read it, you certainly can. And then flipping around here on the back, you can see all the other characters in the wave. And this, again, is another wave that I think, if I'm not mistaken, I do with this guy, I now have the whole wave. There's a current write-up of Mythos as it was at the, uh, at the time of the release of this figure. So let's get this little nasty little uh, goblin opened up and uh, see what all he comes with. Okay, I'm kind of blown away at the amount of stuff that he actually comes with. Uh, I, I couldn't believe... All of the stuff he comes with, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of blown away. So he does come with your standard three uh, back adapters with the two different um, style of adapters for the wings and then the one for the, uh, the shell shield. Um, he does come with that standard 1.0 style uh, belt. Uh, nothing groundbreaking there. Oh, man, where to, where to begin? Um, he comes with two uh, uh, gripping hands on him in the package. Uh, he has two splayed out hands. These are on uh, horizontal hinges. Uh, and these are holding for uh, holding his various weapons, which he comes with a lot of. Um, he comes with this uh, bone sword that we've gotten many times, but I really, I really dig this particular color way of this sword. You know, you've got like this dark grayish brown um, colored sword with these little um, gradients of green on here. Uh, it just looks... Um, poisoned uh it looks old and kind of moldy uh swampish and i dig that I, I just absolutely love i think this is the my favorite color version of this particular weapon um, that he comes with he does come with uh his two shoulder pauldrons um and there are they are like properly um rusted and kind of corroded a little bit they've got like a, a corrosion to them a, a little rust they're a very brown color they're coming across a lot brighter on camera but these are actually uh they, they're coming across kind of gray but they're not they're very they're very brown and rust colored he comes with uh, a very rusty bow um, which I'm loving. These are the same color as the pauldrons, but of course on my camera right here, I'm seeing it's coming across a lot more gray, a lot more silver, and that's uh, that's certainly not uh, what it is. It's got a brown string for the bow. Uh, he does come with a nice quiver that we've seen before with the green arrows, and I think this is a very nice color match to this right here, to his sword. It's kind of this old brown, rusty. You can see how some of the... Uh, the arrows are rusty, uh, and then uh, the green on the, uh, the feathers. He, uh, he comes with this very nice spear, which I love. Uh, it's got some nice painted wraps, and of course, it's got some rust effects going on. Now, the figure itself, um, if you guys have the, uh, the heads pack, the All-Star 5 heads pack, you know that um, this particular mouth has the uh, swappable tongues, so he comes with the extra long tongue accessory. Next up, we have his helmet, uh, his helm. This thing is gorgeous. It is so beautifully painted. Of course, this is also the same one that came in the uh, All-Star 5 um, uh, heads pack. Uh, this beautiful like green gradient on the on the shell here, the bone um, paint, uh, man, it's just that the horns. There's some dry brushing on the horns. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous from tip to tail. This thing is beautiful. This is going to look great on him. And then his last accessory, uh, he comes with you know a, a bonus head, this extra head here, um, same bright blue color on the top. You know, closed mouth. Uh, this thing is just gorgeous as well. I can't, I just, I'm kind of blown away with so much, how, how this little guy comes with so much stuff. 
uh, yeah, I can't wait to pop this on and see how it looks on his uh, nasty little rusty little body. And here we have the Hellfire Goblin standing straight up and down just as he comes out of the package. And you can see, like, he comes with a great little um, dwarf size um, rusted armor body, which I absolutely love. So for customizers, for pop and swappers out there, um, this is a great little um, body to get your hands on uh, for some dwarf customs or some goblin cost, uh, customs. Um, some little mini orc cost, uh, customs I think would be great. But the, the contrast of the red and the rust and the black on him and the bronze, I just think is absolutely gorgeous. This guy is so beautiful. I love the Bog Goblins. I think I missed the the first Bob Go Bog Goblin release. I think I made a custom out of the heads pack. And um, yeah, I mean, and, and that's so like, and now I have this guy. And I would take another variant. Give me a blue one, an orange one, a yellow one. You, you guys name it. All the colors of the rainbow, I will take um, with this guy. So taking a closer look at this guy up close, um, I really want to get in here on this armor. Um, and this head is just absolutely beautiful. So um, if you want to swap the heads, the head is uh, on a joint right here. Um, so this little piece plugs in kind of to, to jut the, uh, the, uh, the head forward. And then you can just pop on this other head, which... Okay, sorry about that. I had to heat this head up um, off screen uh, because, and you can see it still doesn't want to go in all the way because it is really tight. The front of this is really tight, but that is how he looks with his more uh, stoic look. Um, I dig it. Uh, I do like it, but uh, I still think this is the m most fun head of all um, with the mouth open, him kind of baring his teeth and screaming, and this little tongue. Uh, this is a separate piece that is removable. Again, if you have the uh, the head from the um, All-Stars 5 pack, then you know all about this. Um, but there it is. You can pull it out. It's got a little tab on the end. And then you can take this tongue and push it in. And there you have him. Uh, and I love the blue tip on it. I think that's brilliant. Uh, that looks very cool. Um, so you can have him lashing out and attacking um, with his tongue. But let's get this popped back in. Which way does it go? There we go. Let's get this popped back in and look over his armor because this is also beautifully painted. Let's take this off. It's this really nice rusty brown, much like the uh, accessories that we took a look at on my camera. It's coming across a lot more like gunmetal or gray. But I promise you in hand, it's very brown and rusty. You've got this nice bronze uh, ring mail underneath, which looks really nice. I dig that. I love all the rust parts and pieces all the wash that they put on this is so beautiful um, the little folds here on the side the front loincloth has no weathering to it it's just all black um, with all the little rivets painted silver more bronze underneath like I said this would make for beautiful um, uh, dwarf armor um, and then his little feet are just so awesome the little bare feet with all the black and blue spots just like on the backs of the hands. This guy is so well painted uh, and kitted out. So let's go ahead and get his um, armor on and see how that changes his look. And I'm pretty sure that the uh, head and neck is not going to get in the way here. Um, I say as I knock the head off, um, but let's get this pushed in. Pulled down onto the sides, and yet it nestles in very nicely, not getting in the way of that armor at all. And the head can still articulate all the way around. This guy is just gorgeous. But how does he stack up against other mythics? Let's go ahead and bring in our buddies, uh, Bill Bones Broken Shield, all decked out for the Halloween season, and one of our spooky... Um, skeleton warriors and so you can see how he comes in scale wise with other uh, mythic legions um, that are that 1.0 style so let's get these guys out of the way get him into some lighting and into some backdrops and see how he poses up i gotta tell you i love these little goblins they look great they pose well they have very good shelf presence i love any kind of like little 
goblin little um, swamp creature. You know, he, he's kind of like found some armor that fits him finally. And uh, he's put it on, even though it's got some rust to it and some nastiness. And uh, he's ready to go out and do some battle and go to war. And uh, I love it. I just, there's, you know, I love the bog goblin. Uh, I love the head that came in the All-Star 5 um, head pack. And uh, I love this guy, and I'm glad to have him in my collection because these are some of the coolest sculpted and painted uh, characters in all of Mythos in the Mythic Legions line, and I'm here for it. I absolutely love this guy, from the red and the blue on the on the skin to the extra tongue to all of the accessories, all the weapons. If you want him to be a spearman, you can. If you want him to be close quarters with his sword, you can. If you want him to be a long-range archer, he is definitely one for army building, and uh, while I don't army build, I'm just happy to have one of these guys on my shelf and represented in my collection. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to check us out over at Instagram at Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am your Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and I will see you in the toy aisles.